Welcome back, and for those people who subscribe to this channel for Thai language and have noticed a change in content recently, the reason for that is because there's so little interest in the Thai language. Because I make videos about Thailand, I get videos about Thailand recommended to me, and I watch these videos and they have lots of views and lots of subscribers, yet the people who make them have no idea about the Thai language and neither do the people who watch them. It baffles me that you can live in Thailand or you can visit Thailand often and have absolutely no interest in the language. Anyway, everyone to themselves. Personally, I do think it's important and although I started doing videos about other subjects, I do still intend doing videos about language and that's what today's video will be about. Some subscribers to this channel use usernames that are Thai words or expressions transliterated into English. So I thought it'd be interesting just to go through a few common Thai expressions. Here's the first one, and bark wan. So bark with a low tone means mouth, and wan with a rising tone means sweet. And in English, the, the word order is adjective noun. In Thai, it's noun adjective. So it translates directly to mouth sweet, but it actually means sweet mouth in Thailand. And it's just the same as the English expression sweet talker or silver tongue. It's used for people who are over complimentary and not very genuine. So let's just go through the tone rules. Uh, the word for mouth, bark, it has a, a bo bla initial, initial consonant, which is mid class. It's a dead syllable because of that gore guy on the end, and it has a long vowel, so it's a low tone. And the word for sweet, it, it has a W sound from the war wham, but it also has the whore heap at the front, which gives this word a high class initial consonant. So it's high class initial consonant, and it's actually a live syllable because you, you can continue voicing it. One. So a high class initial consonant and a live syllable gives a rising tone. It doesn't matter if you're fat, bald, or ugly. If you go to Pattaya, the bar girls will still call you a handsome man, so you can just respond, Park Wan. I don't mind Park Wan because if a young Thai girl calls me a handsome man, it's quite obvious that she's not being genuine and I just ignore it. The Thai cultural concept of Port Al Jai is something I don't like though. Thais will always tell you what you want to hear. So if you want something, or if you want a tyre to do something, they will tell you what you want to hear, but they will have no intention of actually taking any action. This can be really frustrating. You have a problem, and you tell a tyre about your problem, and they say, yes, I'll get it fixed, and you wait and wait and wait, and nothing happens. You will hear the word key in Thailand a lot with different tones. Kor kai is a high class consonant and with the first tone mark that makes a low tone. So ki with a low tone it means ride as in like to ride elephant ki chang or to ride a bicycle ki chakrayan. With the second tone mark it makes a falling tone and this means excrement basically shit although that's not a very polite word even in Thai and if you go to see the doctor the doctor will use more polite words. And when it's suffixed with other words, it can mean different types of excrement. So, ki hu is the excrement out of your ears, earwax. And ki ta is the muck that you get in your eyes after sleeping. This same word, when used as a prefix, is also used to describe traits or habits of a person. So, someone who is ki hung or ki icha is jealous or possessive. Ki gong is a, a cheat or a rogue, and ki go hop is a liar. Be a bit careful about using any of these expressions with ties. If you're in Thailand and someone lies to you or tries to cheat you, you can insult them in the worst possible way in English, and it won't mean anything to them. But if you if you insult them in Thai, it will mean something, and there could be consequences. When I visited Thailand as a tourist, I went to the main tourist resorts, and naturally, being such a handsome man, the bar girls were attracted to me, and they all told me that they would love me long time. 
When I came to live in Thailand and started getting familiar with the Thai language, I realised that Bargels have a vocabulary all of their own. They use language that is only used in the bar areas, and if there's a man that constantly flits from one girl to another, they refer to that man as butterfly. However, since living in Thailand, I have never ever heard that expression in normal Thailand. The expression that Thais use for a womanizer is "jiao chu." If I hear the expression "butterfly" from a Thai girl, I know that she's had some bar girl experience. And if I hear it from a Thang man, I know that the only Thais he probably ever associates with are bar girls. There's a rarely used Thai consonant called "to pu tao," which means old man. And there's a, there's an expression. Tao Huang Wu, so that's old man, head, snake. So it basically translates to old man, snake head. And in English, that will be a dirty old man. If you're an old man who comes to Thailand to chase young girls, it may be an expression that you hear directed towards you. I apologize for my poor pronunciation and tones, but I hope that was useful or interesting. As I've said before. When I'm doing the language videos, I would like my wife or another Thai on hand to give you the correct pronunciation. But with my wife's schedule at the moment, it's just impossible. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. And more videos soon.